Hi, I'm Clarice Lin, the ROI doctor. I help Shopify store owners like you double their revenue with profitable Google Ads. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Today's video, we're going to talk about the basics. We're going to talk about understanding Google Ads, a crash course for complete beginners. First, let's talk about what Google Ads is about. It's a system where businesses like your online store can pay to show your advertisements to people who are searching for specific things on Google. It works on a system called pay per click, sometimes also known as PPC. That means you only pay when someone actually clicks on your ad. That also means you're not paying for just showing the ad. You only pay when someone is interested enough to click. Imagine you run an online store that sells handmade ceramic mugs made out of bone meal and you want more people to find your store. Instead of waiting for them to somehow come across your website by accident, you use Google Ads to show your ad to people when they're searching for something like ceramic mugs on Google. But here's the key. Each time someone clicks on your ad, you pay a little bit of money to Google for that click. Now, the big question is, how much money should you pay for each click to make sure that you are still making a profit? Let's break down the cost and profit. To figure this out, we need to start with the basics, how much money you are making and spending. The cost to make one mark will be $5. This is the money you spend to produce one mark and the selling price of the mark is $15. This is what you're selling the mark for. Now let's subtract the cost of making the mark from the selling price to find out how much profit you make on each mark. 15 minus five equals to $10 profit per mark. That means after you sell a mark, you have $10 left as a profit. Next, we need to talk about the conversion rate. This is super important because it helps us figure out how many people are actually buying something after clicking on your ad. A conversion is when someone who clicks on your ad doesn't just look around, they actually buy something. The conversion rate is the percentage of people who visit your website and then make a purchase. For example, if 100 people click on your ad, but only five of them end up buying a mark, your conversion rate is 5% you're converting 5% of visitors into buyers. Now we want to figure out how much you can afford to pay for each click on your ad without losing money. Let's start by assuming that your conversion rate is 5%. So if 100 people click on your ad, five of them will buy a mark. Let's do the math. You sell five marks and each mark gives you $10 profit. So five marks times $10 equals to $50 in profit. But remember, it took 100 clicks to get those five sales, right? So you spend money on 100 clicks. We need to figure out how much you can afford to pay for each click so that you don't end up losing money. Here's how we calculate it. You have $50 profit from five sales spread across 100 clicks. So to find out how much you can afford to pay for each click, divide your profit by the number of clicks. $50 divided by 100 clicks equals to 50 cents per click. This means you can afford to bid up to 50 cents for each click. If you bid more than that, you'll be spending more money on ads than you're making in sales, which isn't good for your business. If the cost per click is too high and it's offsetting your profits, maybe running Google Ads is not what you should be doing for your business. Let's look at a more complex example. Looking at two different situations that might happen with your business if you're running ads. These examples will help you understand how things might change depending on your conversion rates and the behavior of your customers. Situation one, high conversion rates with low order volume. Let's say your conversion rate improves. Now, instead of 5% of people buying a mark, 10% of people who click on your ad make a purchase but each customer only buys one mark. Here's the math. 10 sales times $10 profit per sale equals to $100 profit. It still took 100 clicks to get those 10 sales. And maximum bid per click equals to $100 divided by 100 clicks equals to $1 per click. Because more people are buying after clicking your ad, you can afford to pay more for each click. You can now afford to bid up to $1 per click without losing money because your conversion rate is higher. 
Let's look at situation two, low conversion rate, high order volume. Now imagine your conversion rate is lower. Maybe it's only 2% of people who click on an ad that actually make a purchase. But here's the twist. The people who do buy are buying 10 marks at a time instead of just one. Let's do the math for this. Each customer buys 10 marks. So one sale gives you $100 profit because 10 marks times $10 profit per mark equals to $100. Even though only 2% of visitors make a purchase, each sale is worth more. You get two sales out of 100 clicks, but each sale is for 10 marks. Two sales times $100 equals to $200 profit. And maximum bid per click equals to $200 divided by 100 clicks equals to $2 per click. In this case, even though fewer people are buying, only 2% of your conversion rate, each sale is much bigger, so you can afford to bid up to $2 per click. The lower conversion rate doesn't matter as much because the sales are much more valuable. The next thing I want to talk about is the keyword strategy, broad versus niche. Now, let's talk about keywords. Keywords are the words or phrases people type into Google when they're searching for something. For example, if someone types ceramic marks into Google, that's a keyword. Some keywords are very competitive. Many businesses might be bidding on ceramic marks, so it can be expensive to bid on that keyword. The cost per click can get high and it might eat into your profit. That's where niche keywords come in. A niche keyword is something more specific and less competitive, like handmade bone meal ceramic marks. Fewer businesses are bidding on niche keywords, so the cost per click is usually lower. When people use a niche keyword, they are often looking for something very specific, which means they are more likely to buy from you. Even though fewer people might search for handmade bone meal ceramic marks than for ceramic marks, the people who do search for it might be more likely to make a purchase because that's exactly what they want. Here's a trick. If someone finds your site through a niche keyword like handmade bone meal ceramic marks, they might also end up browsing your store and buying some of your more generic marks too. This way, you're only paying for clicks on the niche keywords, but you might end up selling a wider variety of products. The way people behave on your site can give you clues about how to adjust your Google Ads strategy over time. If you see that lots of people are clicking on your ads but not buying, it might mean your conversion rate is low and you should consider lowering your bids or changing your ads to attract more serious buyers. Let's look at one scenario. You see lots of clicks on your ad but sales are low. This means you have a low conversion rate and typically points to something that isn't working on your site or the ads are attracting the wrong shoppers who aren't ready to buy or they are the wrong shoppers. In this scenario, you are paying for clicks that are not leading to sales. Lowering your bids will help you to control costs while you identify the issue. You can save your budget until you can improve your landing page, your ads or your targeting. However, if sudden keywords lead to higher value sales like customers buying multiple items, you can consider raising your bids for those keywords. The strategy is to compete for valuable traffic even with low conversion rates if those sales are worth it. Focus on diagnosing whether the issue lies in your website or your ad targeting. Then decide whether to lower your bids to save money or raise them for higher value keywords. It's about finding the right balance based on your data. If you see that people tend to buy more items at once, even if the conversion rate is low, you can afford to increase your bids because each sale is more valuable. Over time, as you gather more information about how people are interacting with your ads and your store, you'll get a better idea of how much you should be bidding on different keywords. Some food for thought, Google Ads is all about balancing the cost of getting people to your site with the money you are making from sales. By carefully calculating how much you can afford to pay per click and focusing on the right keywords, you can make sure that your ads bring in more money than they cost. It's all about keeping an eye on the numbers and adjusting as you go along. If you're planning to run shopping ads, you can check out one of my other videos, Ranking Higher with Google Shopping Ads, where I explain what Google Ad Rank is about and how to get a higher ad rank. Link in the top right hand corner of the screen. 
You can also check out one of my other videos where I talk about Google Ads quality score and why it's important that will help you to drive stronger campaign performance. Link also in the top right hand corner of the screen. If you need help managing your Google Ads, I can help. I've helped Shopify stores achieve over 500% return on ad spend with PMAX campaigns. Get in touch to find out how I can help you achieve similar results. My contact details in the description and pinned in the comments. Alternatively, head directly to clarislin.com. If you found this video useful in giving you a bird's eye view of the Google Ads basics, do remember to give me a like and let YouTube know. I would also appreciate your support. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions about Google Ads. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss future videos on doubling your store traffic and sales with profitable Google Ads. I'm Clarice Lin, the RI Doctor signing off. Till the next video, stay profitable.